Hello, my name is Grace and today I'm making Valentine's chocolates. Not just any chocolates, I'm going to make macaron. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day, so I'm going to make Valentine's macaron for my husband. Every year I've been making something slightly more difficult, so today I wanted to make something I've never made before and something that is clearly going to be very difficult and will probably be terrible. Maybe not terrible, I'm hoping it'll end up well. I'm using Japanese ingredients. I did see a box you could get um, pre-made stuff, like you just mix it with the eggs, but I wanted to go one step ahead and have everything handmade. I do really enjoy baking, so I'm hoping it'll go well. I know macaron are notoriously difficult, so We'll see what we can do. The audio might not be so fantastic because there's quite a lot of noise and work going on outside and there's not really any way for me to get rid of that and I don't have a mini mic or anything so we'll see what we can do and I only have this low table because my kitchen doesn't really have any like sort of filming space so let's get into it. I have strawberry powder to make strawberry flavoured ones and I have cocoa powder to make chocolate flavoured ones. So I want to make one of each and hopefully at least one of them will go well. I've got my food mixer. This is hilarious because this is handy mixier. Mixier, not a word. It's just a mixer, it's a hand mixer. Let's get this bad boy out. Brand new, I'm so excited. Color is mocha, apparently. I'll link the recipe down below when I'm using my laptop too. Check it out. Okay, my hands are washed. Oh, I need to put my apron on. I'm ready. Line two baking trays with parchment paper. I'm ahead of you, I have my parchment paper. All ready to go. Prepare piping bag in a cup. Prepared, one step ahead of the game. So almonds, icing sugar and cocoa. So I wanna do half of that because I will make, apparently this makes how many? 40 macarons, Jesus. 20 of each then apparently I'm making. So I'm gonna put half in there. So a hundred, oh, now I need a calculator. Yep, 57.5. I don't wanna make any mistakes, so I don't trust my math. Go. Zero that in. And ice, 115 almond meal. Fifty-seven point five, and then I'll do fifty-seven point five in the other part. Do you only have a hundred grams of this? Mmm. I only have a hundred grams. Oh well, I'll do fifty, and I'll alter the recipe. Oh no. <laughs> in each and then I'm gonna to have to match the rest of it. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> ah, it helps to buy enough ingredients, doesn't it? Alright, okay, so this has got my almond flour in there. There we go. Now this I do have enough of. It's too much. Oh, it's all going wrong already. Take a bit of that out. So da -da. Next bowl! Okay, good. I think that's about right. I mean, if it's a couple of grams in or over, I'm not particularly worried. I think that should be all right. Two cocoa powder, two tablespoons, 15 grams. We're doing half. Yeah, if we're doing slightly less, I'm going to go for I'm going to go for seven grams of the cocoa powder. Now, all the cocoa powders, the cheap ones, had sold out, so I got some fancy cocoa powder. Mmm, fancy cocoa powder. Living the dream right here. Oh, this looks like good stuff. Woo! Living a crazy life and just shaking it in. Yeah, seven grams exactly. Oh, weirdly, you open it upside down. Thanks for that. I don't know how potent this is. Oh, it smells very strong. Oh my god. All right, well, oh, so red. Oh my god. 
I'm only going to put that much in. I'm going to put four grams in. No. Let's do the whole lot. Let's do the seven grams. And then I've got a little bit left over for filling if I want to. Oh my gosh, it's so strong. I mean, you can smell the chocolate a little bit in the chocolate paste, but this is, woo, mama. She's a strawberry. Pulse to combine. Do this around 10 times or until all ingredients sift and fine mesh sieve twice. Right. Let's get blendy. I guess I suppose I'll have to give it a wash out in between, so I'll probably shut the camera off. While. Let's start with the choco. Ah! Which I've dropped on the floor. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, gosh. The table is clean, so I'm just gonna swipe this in. Let's pretend that never happened then. Yeah. It's all good, it's all good. One, two. There's some steam coming off that. One, two. I don't know why I'm doing that in twos. One, two, six. One, two. That's eight. That's ten. I feel like pulse to combine it. Let's get my sieve. I do not have a fine mesh sieve. Shiv, shiv, shiv. I do not have a fine mesh sieve. This is a regular sieve. It's probably gonna go back in the bowl that it was in. It's probably not a good idea, is it? Yeah, in you go. It's going to sieve again, so. Get in. Oh, we go. Okay, sieving. Oh yeah. Oh, beautiful. Oh, I can sieve it back into that from there. Yeah. We're all good, we're all good. Just because I know I need a big bowl because it's going to make a lot of mess. Lovely. That looks very, very fine-ish. Okay, let's get this clean and dry and get the next one off. It goes carefully, carefully. Don't lose it this time, Grace. Oh, just a little bit, but not too bad. Slightly better job with that one. Pulse. That should be it. Ooh, it looks mixed. Come, my pretty. Here we go. Oh, it's so pink. Oh, it's so cute and pink. Too red. If I can. <gasps> the work has stopped outside. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm not a cooking channel, in case you haven't noticed. I'm just trying my best to make sweets. Lovely. Place the egg whites and caster sugar in the bowl of a stand mixer. Well, I don't have a stand mixer, but I do have an electric. <laughs> Fitted with a whisk attachment for two minutes low speed, two minutes at medium speed, and two minutes at a high speed. All right. The whisk egg white should form a clump in the middle of the whisk. Right, so I'm gonna have to put this in there because I think they're gonna get big. We have a clean bowl, it's all good. Egg whites, okay. How many egg whites do we need? Five ounces, 114 grams of egg whites. Right, well, we've got three eggs ready to go. Other recipes seem to have done about three, so I'm gonna put two in, see how that goes. This is for the yolks. And cracking, because you can't crack on the side of that bowl. As I want. I'm loving this, really enjoying baking. Two. Yeah, three, let's go for three, and then I can always reduce it. I read that you should do this with your hands to get the egg yolk out. Ew. Oh, this feels disgusting. So slimy, so slimy. <gasps> I forgot to zero the bowl. That's okay because I've got a Pyrex thing. <laughs> it's going very well. Maybe I should label this video Macaron Making Disaster Valentine's Hell. Right. I'm going to zero this one in. This is 
good that I've brought an extra thing. Okay, I think I need another egg actually. That's good, I have many eggs. I have many eggs! It doesn't say anything in the recipe about them being room temperature or not, so I'm kind of interested to see if... Oh, I'm doing it doing it the, uh, the chef-y way this time. Thirty? You telling me? Actually, that's okay because I'm doing slightly less than the recipe, so thirty-five is probably all right. And once I shove it back in, it might have. If my husband sees this video, I'm sure he'll appreciate the effort that has gone in. Caster sugar, get that. Yep, just making sure that's the sugar. I have put salt in one by accident. The packets look really similar. Seventy-two grams. Let's put about. Ooh, go back to zero, you. Oh no, too much. You might be thinking to yourself, does she always bake this badly? And the answer is yes. I just never record it. I'm gonna wash my hands again. Right, I'm really excited. It's time to get out the whisker. Yeah, brand new whisker. On low it says to start. Two minutes. situation I'm gonna end up with egg all over my head but they should form a clump in the middle of the whisk remove the egg whites from the whisk all right so they should form a clump in the middle of the whisk two more minutes let's go meringue isn't it? I'm gonna give it a, just a tiny bit more, I think it needs just a tiny bit more. <laughs> That's soft peaks and it is not coming off. That is what we're looking for. Oh my god! I did it! I think! Fold the dry ingredients into the whisk egg. <laughs> well, I'm gonna put those dry ingredients... I need to get those dry ingredients in something else and then I can fold them. Oops. Now I've got a spatula, so I'm assuming when it says fold, spatula is the jam we want to go for. Let's. So if I halve that and I put half in there. Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh, the spatula is a good choice. This egg whites pressing against the side of the bowl. The goal here is to incorporate, incorporate the dry ingredients, but also to deflate the deflate the egg whites. Surely that goes against the point of this. Weird. The mixture is ready to pipe when it flows into ribbons off the spatula like lava. Ch -ch 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 are we doing this slowly or are we just just this fold the ingredients and it doesn't say that we're doing this slowly so I'm gonna put them all in. Go crazy.
flows like lava. I don't know, does it? Hard to say. And then into the piping bag with it. So I don't have much space, so let's make some spaces. Right, we're gonna get into like street. I have measured this, because I only have one baking tray. In we go. Ooh, look at it go. Does that look good? I don't know. We were actually watching a quiz show the other night. It was a two hour special and showed you images of different chocolate flavored things like chocolate fondue or an opera cake. And you had to name all the different chocolate things, what they were called. And I got every single one of them correct because I love me some chocolate. Yeah, my husband calls me Choco Monster sometimes. He's actually not a massive fan of chocolate himself, but, okay, I think that's good. Just twist it a little bit at the top. And here we go. Do, 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 do. Ooh, okay. Do, 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 do. I think they're gonna be okay. Putting some space around them. And they're becoming a little bit more circular as well. They're quite small, these ones. I might make the next set a bit bigger. So for the strawberry ones, I thought, why don't I bring you along for the ride a little bit and we'll do a close-up. So I've got my red food colouring, which apparently goes in when you're mixing it together. So I want this to be lovely and red. Oh, it's got a tiny little spoon. That's adorable. Look at that. Tiny spoon. Okay, I got the top off. Ooh. Oh, it's a powder. Oh, okay. Right. Look at the mess. Fabulous. Professional. I don't know how much we should put in. Let's have one, two, three. This goes into here. Whee! Let's get rid of this bowl. And 40 times, apparently. <laughs> Thirteen. <gasps> Smells so much like strawberry. <laughs> Let's get it in here. All right, here we go. Round she goes.
they are looking quite glossy, I think. They'll need half an hour to an hour, so we're just going to have to wait and see. These look a bit flatter than the red ones, but I don't know if that's just because the way I piped them or didn't put enough air in them. I don't know, we'll see. All right, these are not so tacky anymore and I've got the oven ready at 150, so let's put them in. Very hard to see, but here they go. I'm so nervous. <laughs> oh my gosh, they look so good. Are they done? No, a little bit longer, maybe, yes. No, a little bit longer? Let's go a tiny bit longer. Okay, I'm taking them out. Do they look done? I don't know, they look an amazing shape though. At least they look kind of good. Some of them a bit broken on top, but... Okay, I think they're not fat. I mean, they sound, sound good. I'm gonna let them cool for a second and then I'm gonna put the next lot in because we've got a bit of a system. It's gonna take a long time to get all these done. I have made a terrible mistake. So I took the first one off and it kind of stuck to the paper. So maybe it's not quite done, but I've put the other ones in so I can't really go back now. I've, mm. Okay, so I took them off and some of them came off really nicely. Like you've got this, which is macaron and this, which is okay as well. But these are just like hollow shells, which have left their gunk behind. I mean, they taste nice. I tried one and they're good, but I'm not really sure what to do. We'll see how the bigger ones come along and I'll give them more time and the benefit of the doubt. So these were the bigger ones, but I gave them longer and you can certainly see these start to burn a little bit on the side, but these ones look really good. So maybe these are better. They're certainly a darker color than those ones. I don't know if they'll settle to that color. So I don't know if this is technically better or worse. Again, we'll see when I try and take them out. That's a nice heart. The others are sadly a bit questionable, but we'll see what happens with the red ones. I've got the last sort of off batch in at the moment, but I've at least got one really good pair there. Look at that. That's going to be, that's going to be a nice one. So they're coming out in a variety of ways. These ones are really weirdly cracked. I don't know how that happened. I don't know if I've left them too long now. That's the thing. But while they're doing that, I think I will get on with making the center. For the ganache, I have boiled the cream and now I'm about to add the chocolates. And hopefully that will melt in. Oh my gosh. Oh, I don't want to get the silvery bit in. No, come out. Making a mess. I might just rename this video, Woman Dissolves Slowly Into Madness. This is a good dark chocolate, or it should be. And let's slowly stir that in. Mm. It's good to add a little sea salt, so I'm going to salt bay this up. recipe they're always like sticks of butter and I always find that so confusing that you have a stick is like a measurement so 230 grams make it half so that's 115 oh I definitely don't have half well we'll just do as much as we can so I'm gonna make a quarter of this mixture just put chocolate ganache in the rest yeah, I've only got 50 grams, so there we go. It's not my heart, sorry. Not sifting that, can't be bothered. Bit of vanilla and a splash of cream for that. Use my electric mixer and it'll probably go everywhere. my 
chocolate ganache which is cooling I put a little food coloring in that one to make it a strawberry one I couldn't be bothered to make it a strawberry flavored one as well because I think the strawberry is actually quite strong in the pink one and some just vanilla so let's clean this a little bit you'll probably hear some cooking in the background but I'm gonna make up my cute little box to put everything in and then start choosing some of the ones I like the best oh my gosh this is the most ridiculous thing do I need scissors pass there and then just kind of next this up yeah there we go no need to do much with have some hearts in there. Should I just give them an empty box? I think that'd be really funny. So you're probably wondering why I'm making all this effort to make chocolates and things for Valentine's Day. And the answer is that in Japan, it tends to be that the women will give chocolates to men. Sometimes even your co-workers, you give giri choco. Giri choco, which means obligation chocolate. I don't have an officer job, so I don't do giri choco. We didn't particularly do it much at school. Apparently it's going out of fashion anyway. So what you will do is you'll give chocolates to the one you love. So if you've made chocolates, wow, amazing. You must really love that person. They must be your true love. You know, you've put all your feelings into making these chocolates. But girls don't get anything on Valentine's Day. Instead, girls get things on White Day a month later. And they're supposed to return the favour of about, I think, five times the amount that the girl has spent or, you know, the amount of time she spent on something. And to be honest, I think he will not really mind if I didn't get him anything anyway. But I love to bake and make things and it's a challenge I like to do. And he'll be happy, hopefully, if I make them. And we'll see what he gets me for White Day. Who knows? Favourite ones so far, put them on this plate and then start decorating the ones. That I want to. Oh, these are losing their bottoms a bit as well. Never mind. So this is my probably my best chocolate one. He's a, gone a bit wrong on the bottom, but I think he's the best chocolate one, and he's cool now. How's the ganache? Is that getting tough? It's getting tough. I think it might be cool enough to put in. I'm not piping. I do not do piping. I need a small spoon. So here they are my homemade macaron for Valentine's Day. They look a bit orangey on the camera. I'm going to hopefully change the colour because they are very, very pink. They're looking a bit orangey in this light, but I'm really pleased with them. I think, you know, they look homemade, but they don't look terrible. And hopefully he'll be very pleased with the lid on. Ready to go.